everyone, it's Ollie and Emily here. Welcome to this fan tour of our most recent conversion. This is a long wheelbase VW Crafter, which is a new van and we can't wait to show you around. There's lots of new and exciting things that we've done in this conversion, uh, such as this massive roof deck with two lounger seats on it. And we've also created a space saving sliding bed inside. So yeah, we can't wait to show you around. This is the first van conversion we've done that features a roof deck and a pop top. And the pop top features as a third bed. It's one metre wide and one metre 90 long. So it's a nice size um, for that third person to sleep up. Um, inside, it features an LED multicolour strip light running all the way round, gives it really nice mood, mood lighting. And then it also has a heat vent, which is supplied by the Truma Combi boiler to keep it nice and warm at night. There's also access to 240 and 12 volt sockets. At the front of the pop top room, you've got this storage compartment here with a lid that is on gas struts. This is ideal for storage of um, remotes for the lights and also mounting an iPad under, on the underside of the lid so you can watch TV in bed. Here we have the uh, concealed hatch leading into the pop top from the living space. You can see the wooden slats underneath, they blend in with the ceiling uh, to make this invisible when you're inside the living area. On top of the pop top we've fitted this 375 watt flexible solar panel which provides pl plenty of power to charge your batteries to go off grid for lengths at a time. The roof deck features two sun loungers which are concealed in the decking. If you and your partner want to get on top of your van and chill out for a few hours, you can release the uh, mechanism and it just sits up like a deck chair so you can relax on top of the decking. There are so many features on the outside of this van conversion. You can see here we've got a tubular ladder. Tubular. You can see we've got the tubular ladder leading up to the roof deck which also features a max air fan and a 5G antenna to give you your Wi-Fi off grid. We've got this uh, BF Goodrich all-terrain tyre mounted on a black Rhino alloys to give it that really mean look and that's on all the wheels and this spare wheel carrier here. Uh, that's in place of the underslung LPG tank which is 55 litres. Uh, that's a refillable spare wheel uh, LPG tank and make sure you can go off grid for weeks at a time. Under the van we also have a 100 litre fresh tank uh, featuring a heating element for the winter months and a 40 litre waste tank. On the outside of the van there's also all of the utility uh, hookup points such as your electric, your gas filler point and your water filler point. Here we've got some of the utility inlets for the van. We've got a 240 hookup here and here we've got an outlet for a barbecue if you wanted to have a barbecue on a nice day out. Under the skirt of the van you've got your uh, drain down taps, this one here for your fresh water. If you're going to leave your van over the winter months without being occupied you drain down all your pipes and then your waste water obviously you drain that down once your waste tank's full. So as we enter the van, you can see here we've built a bulkhead wall. This is a really nice divide between the cab and the living area and gives you some security and also just some extra privacy at night and helps keep the heat in. We've used this space to add some hooks and also on here you can see a light switch. On the light switch we've got lights to the light bar which is above on the siding door. You can see that here and that's really nice, it opens up and glows in the evening so if you're sitting outside or coming into your van, walking the dog lay, it's really handy. We've got extra storage here above the cab. Uh, crafters don't come with an inbuilt parcel shelf, so we've put this one in specially, and it just kind of covers the passenger side, so there's more headroom still on the driver's side. Lower down here, we've got a small door that leads through to the cab. They have kept the bench seat, so there's three seats in the front, um, but the middle seat can flip down, so it's more just for use of emergencies and also more of a peep show. <laughs> So we've gone for a fixed in shower in this fan conversion and you can see in the cubicle here we've lined the walls with Beko panels which is a really nice white tile effect uh, plastic panelling. It's waterproof and really lightweight and it really looks lovely. 
We've got a duck ward at the bottom and on that we've got the Nature's Head toilet. Nature's Head is one of the best composting toilets on the market and apparently you can go for weeks without emptying it, so we've heard. We've got the black shower here and also a vent. Because in this van they've got the pop top, we can add a skylight like we normally do. So we've installed a electric vent which is switched on with the light as well um, when you turn on the light switch. Got some hanging solutions on this wall which just gives you extra space for hanging clothes or wet gear when you're not using the shower room. And on the shower door here you can see we've got a full length mirror and some extra hooks for towels and dressing gowns. So moving back in the van we've got the kitchen area. Behind the shower room we've got this tool unit which is a full height pantry both in the top and bottom section. And this is really nice because it has some pull out sliders so you can store lots of dry goods in here. Underneath this, or in between it, we've got a small cutlery drawer. And then moving on to the main part of the kitchen, we've got the sink here. It's a really big sink, we like using this one because it's nice and deep, but it's a nice size, but it doesn't take up too much room on the work surface. It's also undermounted, so it maintains the amount of worktop space you have. And we make these inserts just to further that even more. We've got a pull-out tap, which you can use and has different buttons and under here there's lots more storage so we've got a cupboard for kitchen cleaning products and utensils and then a drawer at the bottom which is ideal for pots and pans. On the other side of the van we've got this Stepford triplex which is a really great piece of kit. It's a three hob burner oven and grill and we've got it mounted underneath the worktop here so again it just maintains the amount of worktop space you have. The customer really wanted it curved so it's a really nice feature and we've maximised the space in here by having a tall unit at the top and then underneath there's two small spice racks and then on this face you've got a pull out cabinet which is ideal for a bin. On the top here we've got a flip up extension which again just maximises the worktop space and means that you can just finish prepping your food while you're looking out the door. So above the kitchen area and above the seats we've got some overhead storage. This is great because it really maximises the amount of space you can use in the van. We've got them running along both sides and in these middle ones they're a bit smaller and this one in particular houses the control panel. So this is all of your gadgets and gear for the van and all of the controls. And it also has plug sockets in both these two middle ones with a hole above so it can be accessed from the pot top. Next, after the kitchen area, we've got this seating area, which again spans both sides of the van. So it's really nice and sociable. And you've also got a table that comes out from under the bed. The seats are comfy with storage underneath in both. And under this one, you've also got the true mount, which is the heater and boiler system. And that's really great. And we love those because they work really well with lots of ducts that you can run. We've got two out in the living area, one into the shower room, one into the garage, and also one run into the pot top. Both sides of the seats have got windows behind them with these fitted blinds to help black out at night. Oops. The table is hidden behind this face piece here and it sits on two heavy duty draw sliders that can take capacity of 100 kilograms. To open it, you just pull on these two levers and the table extends out eight, 800 millimeters. It's a really good size if you're sitting opposite one another and obviously you can have a third person in here. Um, as I said, it's, it's rated to 100 kilograms so it, it does assist in being able to uh, step up into the hidden pop top hatch above. Underneath the bed in the garage space you have this small hatch here and this is a secret laundry chute so you can put your dirty washing in the garage space and out of the way. This is a really unique bed that we've put into this van conversion. It features a, a sliding a top piece which also hinges at both the foot and the head of the bed. You can see it in its current position, which is in day mode. It has a, a permanent um, headboard at the back, which when you go into night mode, the uh, face piece slides forward 50 centimeters on a, it's almost a cantilever. It slides out on Teflon strips and the back piece folds down to form a full 190 by one meter 50 bed. If you pull up at a really nice viewpoint uh, overlooking some water or the beach and you open up the back doors, with this bed you can also raise the uh, foot of the bed into the deck chair positions like up on the roof deck 
Um, this allows you to swivel around and look out the back doors whilst relaxing in a, in a lounger. So the garage features a really nice little light switch down here, which lights up everything inside. This is where we store all the electrical chargers and your lithium batteries. We have 240 amp hours worth of batteries in this van, a wardrobe behind this little cupboard door here, and also an external shower, which we'll show you now. Check out this external shower. We really hope you enjoyed this van tour. There was lots of new features inside this van and things that we've not done before. So do let us know in the comments if you want to see more videos showing how we built the roof deck and the bed and we'll get forward onto that. Do like and subscribe if you like our content and um, thank you so much for all your support this year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Cheers guys, see you later.